Welcome to my professional ethics video playlist. Today we are going to discuss about ethical principles and moral standards. So let's see first of all the outlines of the session. First we will discuss about the ethical principles. Next we will discuss about how our moral standards form. Next we will discuss about the factors on moral standards. So let's see one by one these different topics briefly. First, explain briefly ethical principles. So let's start to write the ethical principles point wise global, next integrity, honesty and transparency, next justice and equality, next respect for rights, next independence and at last diversity. So these are the different ethical principles. Now let's see the meaning of these ethical principles briefly. First one global. We should carry out activities according to global mission and objectives. So we should not think individually but instead of that we should think about the different activities according to global mission and objectives that means beneficial to the global we should follow the principles of integrity honesty and transparency in all of our actions so each and every activities that is performed by the individual we should look out the principles of integrity honesty and transparency next justice and equality we should treat all of our stakeholders and each other with same justice and avoid discrimination. That means the biasing. So we should avoid this discrimination. But instead of that, we should treat all of our stakeholders and each other with same justice. That's why it is written over here, justice and equality. Next, respect for rights. We should respect reputation, property and all other human and commercial rights of others. This is really very important. We should respect reputation of everyone. Respect the properties of the others. That means we should not look out to grab the properties of others and all other human and commercial rights of others. Next, independence. We should make decision independent, not influenced by any organization or by any institutions or by any individuals. So once again, see carefully. We should make decision independently, not influenced by others. Now the last one, diversity. We should respect cultures and opinions. So in short we can say we should think broadly that means diversity. We should respect every cultures and opinions. Now the next one moral standards. Moral standard refers to the norms. So it is one type of norms we can say which we have about the types of actions which we believe to be morally acceptable and morally unacceptable. So very simple, moral standards refer to the norms which we have about the types of actions and that types of action is actually dependent on which we believe to be morally acceptable and morally unacceptable. Specifically, Moral standards deal with matters which can either seriously harm or seriously beneficial to human beings. So moral standards deal with the matters which can be either seriously harm or seriously beneficial to the human beings. Next, moral standards are those concerned with or relating to human behavior 
especially the distinction between good and bad behavior. Next, moral standards involve the rules people have about the kinds of actions they believe are morally right and wrong. So, moral standard involves the different rules which people have about the kinds of actions they believe are morally right and wrong. Now the last one, how are moral standards formed? There are some moral standards that many of us share in our conduct in society. These moral standards are influenced by a variety of factors like the moral principles we accept as part of our upbringing. Next, values pass on to us through heritage and legacy. So for the moral standards, these are the inputs, the moral principles we accept as part of our upbringing. Values pass on to us through heritage and legacy. Next, the religious values that we have digested from childhood. So whatever we learn from our religion, that is called as the religious values, that we have digested, that means we have thoroughly understand about the religious values. So that also forms moral standards. The values which were showcased during the period of our education. So whatever the values which were showcased during our education. The behavior pattern of those who are around us, from that also you can form moral standards. The explicit and implicit standards of our culture, our life experiences and more importantly, our critical reflection on these experiences. So from the life experiences also we can form some moral standards. And more importantly, our critical reflections on these experiences. So whatever it may be, we have the experiences and based on that, there will be always some reflections. So there are lots of critical reflections on our experiences. Based on that also you can form moral standards. So moral standards concern behavior which is very closely linked to the human well-being. These standards also take priority over non-moral standards including one's self-interest. Thanks my dear friends for watching this video. Press the like button to appreciate it.